Yo yo yo, what is up guys, Universe Gaming here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a decent outro using paint.net and then turning it into a nice outro video that you can add at the end of your video for YouTube using Camtasia Studio 8. So let's jump in. So what you guys want to do is go jump, excuse me, <laughs> well yeah you can go jump on Google, just go find just go find a pretty nice picture off Google that you like that you'd like to use for the background like this. And open the image. The image is pretty small, so what you guys might want to do is go to image, resize, and turn it into a 1280 by a 720. Okay. That just made the picture a bit bigger. Resized it. So now what you guys want to do, see how the picture is pretty dim, you might want to go to effects, go to photo, and just add a little glow. See? I want to make that a bit bigger, brighter, just like that. Perfect. Then you might want to make the picture look pretty uh, pretty cool. I want to add a little twist to the center. See how that turned out? Looks pretty nice. I don't want to make it too big. Looks pretty nice right there. Alright. Okay. Oh man. Undo. Effect. Disorder. Twist. Alright, let's just leave it as as is. Alright. And now that's starting to look pretty nice. Still there. All right, whatever. All right. So now, what you guys probably want might want to do is create a new layer, and that's where you're going to put the text. So you can change the font size. You can go download a font size and add it in if you want to. Make it bold. Make it about 48. And this is where you would put your name. Obviously, mine is Universe Gaming, so that's what I'm going to put. And just try as best as possible to make it dead center like that. I might never know, might wanna Nope. Alright, doesn't work. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Just just like that. Alright. And now you guys might wanna add in your like symbol or something, your uh cool pick that you can just add in, just drag and paste and make sure you add as layer. Unless it has a white background around it, then you guys might want to go into uh, open the image and like crop out all the white in the background to make it uh, transparent which I already did but I didn't do a good job as you can see up here in the wings just trying to make this go by really fast so now you guys are wondering why it's so big and everywhere it's literally blocking the words what you guys might want to do is just double click on the layer itself and just change the opacity down to maybe an 80 or so you still want people to see it, but still want people to wonder what it is. It's like that. You might want to change it a bit darker if you think it's too big. Not too big, uh, too dark. 60, a bit nicer. Alright, so now what you guys want to do is you might want to add in your social links. Um, you can go download that too. Um, I have a Facebook here. I'm going to have to open the image because see how it has all the white in the back just go to wand click on the white and just delete but you still have all this gray around it you can fix that if you want or just download a better image which I probably should have done and now you just want to click on the photo itself and control C go back over here control V copy and paste undo sorry guys add a new layer make sure you add a new layer so it doesn't get the same opacity as uh, your image then you can click control V and as you see it's much darker than before uh, so now what you guys might want to do is hold shift so it maintains a perfect square because see how it can do that hold shift and it's a perfect square no matter what so what you guys might want to do is add this uh, probably a big too big well that's a nice decent size right put it over here near the center of the Facebook then you might want to go get an Instagram 
open, crop out the white, delete, delete. All right, and then just click on it again, control C, go back, start a new layer, I learned, control V, and you might want to make it about the same size as the Facebook, might be a bit bigger or so, just like that. So now after you can add this at the end of your video, people would see you have a Facebook, oh maybe go, let me go like your page, you have an Instagram, let me go follow you to see what you're up to 24-7, stalkers, Andrew. But anyways, then uh, you might have want to have a big subscribe here button, which I have right here. Um, I can just add the layer, it's hardly noticeable, the white in the back, it's pretty big. I want to make a decent size so they could see it. Oh, shoot, I forgot to make a new layer. Alright. Shift. Excuse me, guys, let me go with that. Alright, sorry about that, had to grab the phone. But, uh, what I left off. Alright, so yeah, subscribe button, make it pretty decent so people can click on it. And then once you're done, just click on this little white. See how it has a blue here, the white there. Just grab that and bring it over here. So you start a new layer, of course. And just make that about yay big. Alright. So now what you might want to do, uh, you might want to add in a, uh, which we'll call it, <clears throat> excuse me, you might want to add in a rectangular box, so to where you might put your video, uh, yeah, drag that out the way for a quick second, alright, and just bring it right about in here somewhere, oh, the lag, what happened, alright, just make it about that big. Perfect, right? Alright, so then you bring that back over. We change the font size if you want for the brush. I'm going to just leave it like this, as is. And now you have a pretty decent outro. We have the big picture in the background. You have your name right above. You might want to add text, previous video underneath. that, bring that over here, last video, I want to center that, just like that, alright, and now you have a nice looking decent outro, move that out the way, you got the subscribe button here, you got the Facebook, the Instagram, you could put whatever, Twitter if you want, if you have, and this is looking pretty nice right here. You might have a thanks for watching somewhere if you don't like this type of style, but yeah, and then you'd go to file, you'd go to save as, and then you put it somewhere, say if you have to rename it, um, anything you want, YouTube right here already had one uh, save it as a JPEG save are you sure you want to replace yes and okay flatten don't worry this white box right here won't appear hopefully and that's how you make an outro using paint.net now let's go to Camtasia all right now we're in Camtasia studio 8 You've just created your outro. Um, I kind of went ahead and added the image, the audio, and the video. And here are the tracks where you're going to place them. So yeah, um, I really like using Camtasia Studio to edit the videos because it's really uh, it's helpful. It's like the best editing uh, software out there, recording system. Uh, as you can see right here, you can record your screen. But yeah, anyways, um, once you're done downloading the... Uh, your picture and you saved it just grab it from where you 
uh, down, uh, saves it to and just drag it and place it into this drag and drop into this white box right here that add uh, some not copyrighted music or whatever your own song if you want and your last recorded video or anything so um, in track one you put your outro just drag and drop and you change this to a 1280 by 720 okay and just bring it to the front just like that might want to drag this out to make it about a good 12 13 minutes seconds excuse me and yeah now you'd add your video to your second track and your song to your third that's all you're gonna need uh, first you might want to do is go to your video right click uh, right click on it yep go to edit audio and silence so they don't hear you talking in the background the whole time so now what you guys want to do is um, in your video just scroll about along find a nice looking uh, 10 seconds out of it that you really liked and just copy and paste so right about here it says pretty nice for me uh, copy and paste right just cut that 13 seconds right there actually bring it back down just a little more alright whoops make sure it's only in track 2 not the whole song and everything and just right click cut and I think I just grabbed the song with it yep better yet guys let's be smart and just not add the song at all let's wait and just paste the song you can delete again make sure the video and the outro clip align perfectly and now you can add in your song so now um, your video is kinda like big, almost as the same size as your whole picture so what you might want to do is just grab the corners and just make it a bit smaller and you can see why I made the outline so now I know exactly where to place it if I could place it just getting annoying alright there we go come on cause here, come on really right about there alright so now you have the pic now you have the video in a nice black outlined uh, rectangle where it's gonna sit alright and pretend the music's not playing it's not even drag it there and you play it people will be like oh I like this guy's uh, channel it's pretty cool blah 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 uh, subscribe you click it oh he has a Facebook click it click it and everything and now to add the music you would just pretty much listen to it until you find a perfect bass drop and you just cut that so let's listen so right about here as you can see it's building up they're about to drop it I'd say right about here pause right about there and you would just cut take a duration just oh to do this just grab the red the red mark and right about here sounds nice cut and now you can just delete that whole song because you're not even going to need to use it just that tiny little part paste bring it there make sure you align it perfectly with everything else bring your forgot the name of this thing but you know what I mean grab that and just bring it to the front the very beginning of the video and now you have an outro with the video and the rectangular outline that you made using paint.net or photoshop whatever you have and you have the song playing so now when you click play it's gonna look pretty nice um, for example so now yeah and then on YouTube once it's done the whole video is done uploading you can just uh, make a note and add in the links using the video manager after you're done editing the video and that's pretty much it guys 
Uh, so in this video, we've learned how to make a decent outro using Paint.net or Photoshop, whichever one you have. We learned how to add the video and music and make it perfect looking. So um, I hope you guys found this video very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like if this helped you a lot, and I'll see you guys next time.